technology and livelihood education, agriculture, and fishery arts for grade 8. Our topic is Occupational Hazards in Fisheries. The following are the objectives of this lesson. Review of the previous lesson. Classify the following fish, whether they are significant rare fish, threatened fish, or endangered or prohibited fish. The following are the content area vocabulary. Biological hazards, also known as biohazards, are organic substances that pose a threat to the health of living organisms, primarily humans. Physical hazards refer to the potential risks that can cause physical harm or injury to workers due to physical agents, factors, or conditions present in the workplace. Ergonomic health. It is the science of fitting jobs to workers instead of trying to get the workers to fit the job. It focuses on designing workstations, tools work tasks for safety, efficiency, and comfort. Man-made hazard. Anthropological hazards are those hazards caused directly or indirectly by human action or inaction. They can be contrasted with natural hazards. Natural hazard. It is a natural phenomenon that might have a negative effect on people or the environment. Natural hazard events can be grouped into four broad categories, chemical hazards. Mean any organic or inorganic substance of a particular identity, any element or uncombined chemical and any combination of such substances, or any mixture or two or more chemical substances. Psychosocial hazards. Stressors in the workplace or environment, such as excessive workload, poor management, or social conflict, that can lead to emotional strain, mental health issues, or reduced well-being, mariculture. For the culture of fish, prawns, and lobster floating cages are used. Metahaline culture. Is aquaculture in very salty water, like salt pans, used to grow species such as brine shrimp for feed or commercial purposes. Have you ever wondered why fishing is among the most dangerous jobs? Fishers work long hours at sea, often at night and in rough weather, using heavy equipment and handling risky catches. Without proper training, gear, or health benefits, many face accidents or even death. This lesson explores OSH hazards in fisheries, the challenges fishers face, and why protecting their safety is vital for their well-being and sustainable fishing. Fishing is one of the world's most dangerous jobs. At sea or in port, fishers face many hazards that risk their health and safety. Long hours, rough weather, and night shifts increase fatigue and accidents. They also transport heavy equipment, operate machinery, and handle dangerous catches, leading to serious injuries or even death. Health and safety in fisheries are worsened by unpredictable seas and lack of worker protection, especially in small-scale operations. Many fishers are informal or self-employed, without contracts, insurance, or benefits. Most lack safety training, protective clothing, and basic gear, increasing risk. Cultural norms, especially masculinity, also shape how fishers view and respond to danger. The following are the common occupational health problems in commercial fisheries. 1. Cancers and allergies, from long, unprotected exposure to ultraviolet, UV, rays. 2. Eye disorders, such as blurred vision and sunburned eyes from UV exposure. 3. Injuries, caused by sharp tools, gears, or fish handling. 4. 
hearing loss, from constant exposure to noisy engine rooms. 5. Musculoskeletal disorders, from slips, falls, lifting heavy loads, or being caught in machinery. 6. Mental health issues, including stress, fatigue, and substance abuse such as drug and alcohol dependence. Here are the basic safety practices in fisheries and onboard vessels. 1. Stay alert and keep clear of winches and machinery. 2. Always wear gloves when handling catch. 3. Avoid drinking alcohol while on board. 4. Watch your step around deck openings and hatches. 5. Wear proper protective clothing at all times. 6. Inspect ladders carefully before using them. Occupational Safety and Health or OSH Hazards in Fisheries A hazard is anything that can cause harm to people, property, or the environment. Sometimes hazards are only possible and may not cause harm right away, but if they become active, they can lead to accidents or emergencies. When a hazard actually happens, it is called an incident. Risk is the chance that a hazard will really cause harm. It depends on two things, the hazard itself, what can cause harm, and how likely and serious the harm could be. The following are the types of hazards. 1. Natural hazard. A natural phenomenon that may negatively affect people or the environment. Natural hazards are grouped into four categories. The natural hazards are categorized into four. First is the geophysical hazards. Caused by movements of the earth, like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. 2. Meteorological hazards, caused by weather, like heat waves, cold waves, cyclones, hurricanes, and freezing rain. 3. Hydrological hazards, caused by water, like floods, droughts, mudslides, and tsunamis. 4. Biological hazards, caused by diseases or infestations that affect humans, animals, or plants. The second type of hazard is the man-made hazard, also called anthropological hazards. These result directly or indirectly from human actions or negligence. Unlike natural hazards, they arise from technology, industry, or carelessness. Such hazards often lead to accidents that cause injury, disease, loss of life, and damage to property. They may also harm ecosystems and biodiversity. Here are the examples of natural and man-made hazards that directly affecting fishery. 1. Cyclone, a giant storm with strong winds that spin in circles. In the north, they are called hurricanes, in the south, they are called cyclones. Wind speeds can go over 119 km per hour, making them very destructive. In the Philippines we call it typhoon or super typhoons. 2. Floods. When normally dry land is covered by water. They may happen naturally or suddenly, like flash floods in mountains, which quickly disappear but cause heavy damage. Floods can also be caused by heavy rain or melting snow. 3. Drought, a long time with very little or no rain. This makes the land dry, cracked, and unable to support crops, animals, or people due to water shortage. 4. Tsunami, known as a harbor wave in Japanese, a tsunami is a series of giant sea waves caused by underwater earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. They can reach 10 to 30 meters high and destroy coastal areas. 5. El Niño. A change in Pacific Ocean temperatures that affects global weather. It can bring strong storms, droughts to tropical countries, floods to colder regions, and alter fish habitats, making it harder for fishermen and farmers. Occupational safety and health refers to the risks people face while working. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, lists five main categories of hazards, ergonomic hazard, physical hazard, biological, psychological hazard, environmental, and chemical. Ergonomic hazard. These are workplace conditions that put strain on the body because of poor design of tasks, tools, or workstations. They occur when jobs don't match a worker's physical abilities, leading to problems like muscle pain, fatigue, or long-term injuries. Examples include awkward postures, repetitive movements, heavy lifting, or sitting for long periods without support. Ergonomic hazard in fisheries. Fishing tasks, tools, and conditions can strain the body. 
Lifting heavy nets, carrying loads, pulling ropes, or awkward postures on boats may cause fatigue, pain, or musculoskeletal injuries. Working in extreme temperatures or repeating movements for long periods affects muscles, bones, and joints. Early signs include tiredness or discomfort, which can lead to musculoskeletal disorders, MSDs. Musculoskeletal disorders, MSDs, are long-term injuries to the muscles, tendons, ligaments, nerves, or joints. They happen when the body is overused or exposed to unsafe work practices. One common MSD is carpal tunnel syndrome. This occurs when a nerve in the wrist, the median nerve, is squeezed due to swelling or irritation. It can cause pain, weakness, numbness, or loss of grip in the hand and wrist, and sometimes the pain spreads up the arm. Symptoms of MSDs Weakness, stiffness, swelling, sensitivity, burning or tingling, drowsiness, clumsiness, and difficulty moving body parts, ergonomic risk factors. Using too much force, heavy lifting, pushing or pulling, carrying loads, tight gripping, awkward or prolonged postures, repetitive tasks, working overhead, contact stress, pressing against hard surfaces, and exposure to vibrations. Physical hazard. These are potential risks in the workplace that can cause physical harm or injury to workers due to physical agents, factors, or conditions such as noise, heat, radiation, vibration, electricity, poor lighting, or unsafe workplace design. Biological hazards, or biohazards, are organic substances that threaten human health. These include viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, and other microorganisms that cause infections, as well as toxins, allergens, and vectors that spread diseases. Their effects on the body vary depending on the hazard type and route of exposure. Examples of biological hazards, inhalation, breathing in airborne pathogens or toxins can lead to respiratory infections or conditions. Examples include tuberculosis bacteria or the spores of fungi. Skin contact, some biohazards can enter through cuts or abrasions in the skin or can cause infections or allergic reactions upon contact. For instance, Bloodborne pathogens like HIV and hepatitis B virus can enter through open wounds. Ingestion, consuming contaminated food or water can result in gastrointestinal illnesses. E. coli or salmonella bacteria are common causes of foodborne diseases. Inoculation, this occurs when a pathogen is introduced into the body through a puncture, needle stick injury, or a bite from an infected vector, like a mosquito carrying the dengue virus. Mucous membrane exposure, pathogens can enter the body through the eyes, nose, or mouth. For example, conjunctivitis can be caused by certain viruses or bacteria entering the eye. Psychosocial hazards are workplace or environmental stressors that can cause emotional distress or mental health issues. They are major challenges to occupational health and safety. These hazards involve work design, organization, management, and social or environmental factors that can lead to psychological or physical harm. Examples of psychosocial hazards include work stress, caused by factors like heavy workloads, tight deadlines, lack of control, and poor organizational support. Prolonged stress can lead to burnout, marked by exhaustion, cynicism, and reduced effectiveness. Workplace violence includes bullying, harassment, or physical violence from colleagues, superiors, or the public, which can result in both physical injury and psychological trauma. Work life balance poor work life balance due to long hours or shift work can lead to stress and conflict between work and family or personal life, job insecurity. Uncertainty about the future of one's job can be a significant source of stress and anxiety. Poor organizational culture, a workplace that lacks policies for promoting respect and fair treatment may lead to a toxic work environment. Lack of participation and control, having little influence over one's job or working conditions can lead to dissatisfaction, stress, and a feeling of lack of control. Environmental hazards are harmful conditions or substances that can affect human health, safety, and ecosystems. They include natural events like storms, floods, droughts, and earthquakes, as well as human-caused issues such as pollution, toxic chemicals, and waste. These hazards can cause illness, injury, and environmental damage, 
highlighting the need for strong safety and protection measures. Example of environmental hazards, 1. Rough seas and strong waves increase the risk of boat accidents, 2. Storms, typhoons, and heavy rains can damage fishing vessels and gear, 3. Extreme temperatures cause heat stress or hypothermia among fishers, 4. High winds make navigation dangerous. This is Dr. Maylin Huliganga. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Maylin Huliganga. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.